Right, good morning from uh, Great Lever in Bolton. And just a short video today. And I uh, just want to talk about overwintering broad beans. And uh, we planted these in the first week of October in 2022. And they're doing really well now, as you can see, the flowering. So the next stage after this, the, uh, the flowers will turn into pods and we'll have lots of broad beans. And there's a few good reasons why, why it's worth planting these overwintering broad beans. Uh, one of them is that you get an earlier crop. And then the general reason, as with uh, most beans and peas, the roots of the plant leave nitrogen in the ground. So one of the things that I've tended to do over the years with broad beans is not dig the plant up, is uh, take the beans off first, and then cut the plant at the bottom with a pair of secateurs and leave the root in the ground. And then you're making the nitrogen available for the next crops that go in uh, weeks or months later. So this particular variety, for anybody who's uh, interested in growing uh, overwintering broad beans, are called aquadulse. And uh, they're quite easy to find. You can find them on uh, eBay and in uh, various garden centres and uh, seed, seed suppliers. So well worth doing, like I say you get a crop about six to eight weeks earlier I think it is. And uh, it's also something to do when it's getting quite dark in the uh, in the autumn heading into winter. It's, um, it's a good way of getting out and uh, you know getting yourself a bit of well-being, get your hands in the soil and uh, it, continue the gardening season. I mean there's no hard and fast rules that it should end at the end of summer. So yeah, uh, that was just a quick video for you today and uh thanks for watching and uh please subscribe if you haven't already look after each other in these uh, very strange and uncertain times grow as much food as you're able to and uh we'll see you soon with a newer video over and out